Little Dirty Fruit Treasure Series, Guobao Special Attack. I became the brother of Sheng Wan Zi, Guobao Special Attack. Yin Yang God, Guobao Special Attack. Three Fruits of Chaos, Man in the Beast. Opening Girlfriend Pineapple Xiao Wei, Revised Super Beast Armor. Travelers Without Borders, Guo Bao Special Attack. Journey to the West. Chapter 1. When you wake up, a beautiful woman falls asleep beside you. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Darkness, Endless Darkness. Human Shengguan Xian was suspended naked in the darkness, his brows tightly furrowed, as if he was having a nightmare that would never wake up. Xiao Xian, I have already lost you once. I don't want to lose you again. Take me away, even in the human world, I want to be with you. The heart-wrenching cries echoed in Shang Wan Xian's mind, causing him a headache that was about to burst. A slender pineapple that could move desperately reached out to Shang Wangshuan, but Shang Wangshuan's eyes were shrouded in tears, unable to see her face clearly. Even so, Shang Wan Xian still instinctively wanted to hold on to her, to hold on to the tenderness he had been searching for. Xiao Wei. Xiao Wei. Xiao Wei. Shang Wan Xian bounced up from the bed, panting heavily in cold sweat. The sofa, wardrobe, curtains, everything in front of us is a familiar appearance from memory. There is a certain fruit phone with electricity plugged in next to the pillow, and the phone automatically plays the theme song of Guo Bao special attack for. Is this all? A dream. Shang Wan Xian sat back on the bed, patting his head and organizing his chaotic memories. Time travel has turned into a strawberry. Hee hee, they are already people who are about to graduate from college, yet they still have such childish dreams. After thinking through everything, Shang Wan Xian breathed a sigh of relief and habitually wiped the sweat off his face with a blanket, preparing to get out of bed and put some water in. Brush. The blanket was lifted and the hot air that had been sulking all night dissipated instantly. The cold air, like an eel in the mud, slipped in smoothly. Humph. Suddenly, a very loud voice sounded, which stunned Shang Guangxuan. What kind of hustle and bustle, isn't Guobao's special attack a sub-supply-oriented animation? Shang Guangxuan lowered his head to check his phone and found no problem. As he scratched his head in confusion, the very loud voice came out again. Mmmhm, this time Shang Wan Xian heard clearly that the voice came from behind him. He immediately got off the bed and lifted all the blankets. What? At this moment, there was a naked, graceful woman lying on the bed, with blue hair reaching her waist, fair skin, strong capital, and a very awkward posture. The woman was writhing uncomfortable on the bed because the blanket was lifted, her slender eyelashes trembling slightly, and soon woke up. Hm Xiao Xian. The woman sat with a duck sitting upright, her slender jade hand rubbing her loose sleeping eyes. Suddenly, a holy light pierced the woman's eyes and she couldn't open them. And that light was emitted from Xiao Shan Guanxuan. Shang Guan Xian was frozen in place at this moment, unable to move. A golden hoop rod that penetrated the sky pierced through the sky and struck the heavenly palace. Surrounding, there are still vague and elusive themes, the main theme of, where is the road? Xiao Xian. I don't know how long it was until the woman spoke out again, and Shang Wan Xian finally came to his senses and let out a scream that could be heard throughout the entire building. Ah! Mr. Li, who was playing chess downstairs, was so frightened by Shang Wan Xian's screams that his dentures spurted out. He happened to land on the chessboard in front of him and scattered his chess pieces that he had nowhere else to go. Okay, okay. If you can't afford to lose, spray dentures to cause trouble. You like to play like this, don't you, old Li? Ah. No, I was scared by the scream just now, he he, the screen returns to Shang Wan Pavilion. At this moment, he had already put on his clothes and his face, still red, was forced to stiffen, trying to put on a fierce look. The woman across from her sat cross-legged on the bed as if nothing had happened, 
looking innocently at the unfamiliar environment around her, I said, could you pay more attention to your personal privacy and tidy up your appearance first? Didn't I wear clothes? You just gave it to me. The woman pointed to the thin white tea dot shirt on her body, which was Shang Guangxuan's clothes. Due to the woman's strong capital, Bai Ti was forcibly stunned, causing her lower body to appear faintly. I'm talking about pants. No one sleeps without wearing underwear. Shang Guangxuan pretended to be angry and roast loudly, then threw one of his pants to cover the woman's head. During the process, Shang Guangxuan's legs remained tightly clamped, relying on external force to forcefully press down on the gun. It's not surprising that Shang Wan Xian lacks composure, mainly because the woman across from him has a really awkward figure and appearance. And she's not shy at all, even a professional can't be so confident and fearless. MMM I don't like wearing pants, it's inconvenient to move and uncomfortable for thieves. I. Shang Wan Xian couldn't think of a rebuttal and could only cover his head with a headache. Okay, okay, let's put this question aside for now. Let's discuss the most important issue. Shang Wan Xian took a deep breath, tried to calm his mood, and then said. Who are you? Why did you appear in my home, and? Still sleeping in the same bed as me. Upon hearing this, a clear look of shock appeared in the woman's beautiful eyes. Shang Wan Xian, don't you know me anymore? I'm Pineapple Xiao Wei. Clam. Shang Wan Xian was also stunned. Pineapple Xiao Wei. You've watched many cartoons, haven't you? Why don't you say you're Shang Wan Zi? Shang Wan Xian, are you okay? Isn't Shang Wan Zi your sister? Why can't you even distinguish between me and Zi? Hey! This sentence shook Shang Wan Xian's spirit fiercely. Shang Wan Zi is her own younger sister, and this relative relationship that only appeared in her dream. How did the woman in front of her know? For a moment, all the shyness, anger, doubt, and other emotions of Shang Wan Xian disappeared. For some unknown reason, the brain was instantly emptied, and a large amount of unreal memories flooded into it, causing Shang Wangxuan a headache. Ah! Uh. Shang Wan Xian covered his head and sat on the sofa, which made the woman in front of him who claimed to be Pineapple Xiao Wei nervous. He immediately got out of bed and came to Shang Wangxuan to embrace him, letting Shang Wangxuan's head rest on his own capital. Xiao Xian, Xiao Xian, what's wrong with you? Don't scare me, Xiao Xian. After a period of washing with facial cleanser, Shang Wangxuan's headache slowly faded. He opened his cold eyes and suddenly his temperament underwent a qualitative change. I remember it all. Those are not even dreams. That's right, Shang Wangxuan remembered everything he had experienced in the fruit world. Including several hundred chapters of my own water, I confessed this matter to Pineapple Xiao Wei. How are you, Xiao Xian? Do you still have a headache? Pineapple Xiao Wei hugged Shang Guangxuan and used her clothes to wipe her sweat with care. Shang Guangxuan's attention was attracted by Xiao Wei of Pineapple, and then blush, as if escaping from the gentle village. You, 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 don't get so close, men and women are not compatible. Chapter 2 Has a secret that only we know. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Pineapple Xiao Wei can see that Shang Wangxuan's resistance is not just a pretense, he really doesn't remember himself. For a moment, Pineapple Xiao Wei's eyes became moist, and big pearls had already floated to the corner of her eyes. Hey! Why? I'm crying. Shang Wan Xian was stunned for a moment, and Pineapple Xiao Wei murmured in great grievance. Shang Wan Xian, what's wrong with you? Why did you forget me? We have gone through so many obstacles and ups and downs together, life and death parting, and you have never forgotten me. Why do you forget me when you arrive in the human world? You promised me that you would never be separated from me. I, 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 without saying a few words, Pineapple Xiao Wei lowered her head and began to sob. 
Looking at Pineapple Xiaowei's wet hands, Shang Wangxuan's mood also became uncomfortable. Actually, he had just remembered all the memories he had when he crossed into a strawberry. However, Shang Wanxian has never seen the woman in front of him. A stranger who casually said something that only happens in your dreams, theoretically, is a normal person's first reaction to be resistant. All right, don't cry anymore. After thinking for a moment, Shang Wanxian took the initiative to step forward and sat next to Pineapple Xiao Wei, speaking softly. I still remember. I remember everything that happened in the fruit world, and I also remember Pineapple Xiao Wei. Upon hearing this, Pineapple Xiao Wei lifted her head and looked at Shang Wanxian in confusion. Those beautiful eyes were adorned with tears as thin as a clear spring, evoking love and pity in people's hearts. The pointed nose and pink jade carved cheeks slightly turned red, and the small mouth gently pouted, adding a touch of cuteness and softness to Pineapple Xiao Wei. So, sucking, why are you still showing such resistance to me? Pineapple Xiao Wei said pitifully, and Shang Wangxuan sighed helplessly, finding a mirror from the bedside table. First, take a look at how you are now. Pineapple Xiao Wei took a look in the mirror and covered her mouth in surprise. Is this? Is this me? A stunning face was reflected in the mirror. The indifferent eyes are like magnificent sapphires, and also like brilliant stars, deep, cold, and romantic. The long eyelashes are like butterfly wings, trembling slightly, and the bridge of the nose is tall and elegant, with clear brightness and darkness. The sweet red lips are crystal clear, delicate and fiery, making people drool and want to savor them carefully. It's not uncommon to see each facial feature alone, but when combined on one face, it feels like it's completely natural, like a fairy emerging from the dust, with a cloud-like sky. This appearance made Pineapple Xiao Wei start to lose confidence. Is such a stunning woman truly herself? So, now you can understand my resistance. Shang Wan Xian spoke calmly, and Pineapple Xiao Wei shook his arm slightly anxiously. But I'm really Pineapple Xiao Wei, Xiao Xian, you have to believe me. Looking at the beauty within reach, as well as the snow dot white area that could cause excessive bleeding, Shang Wan Xian immediately shifted his gaze and coughed falsely. Are you Pineapple Xiao Wei or not? Just take a test and you'll know. Test. As long as you tell me the secret that Pineapple Xiao Wei knows about me, I believe you are the real Pineapple Xiao Wei. Upon hearing this, Pineapple Xiao Wei pressed her slender fingers against her chin, her eyes fixed on the ceiling, and she struggled to think. Um. Your name is Shang Wan Xian, and your parents are two great heroes, Zhang Sanfeng and Shang Wan Jinhong. Many people in the fruit world know this secret, but it doesn't count. Just one more thing. So. You're a human. Otherwise. Am I a strawberry now? This doesn't count either. Then. As she spoke, Pineapple Xiao Wei's face suddenly became gloomy. The cute and obedient appearance of sinking fish and falling geese just now disappeared instantly, and the temperament all over my body became cold and indifferent. Shang Wan Xian felt a thump in his heart as he looked at it, and suddenly suspected that he had offended her in some way. Your ex-girlfriend is a colorful lotus. This sentence, Pineapple Xiao Wei doesn't want to say a word more. When talking about it, it's even more gritting its teeth and clenching its fists, as if it's about to lose control and hit someone. This. This is also a well-known thing, so it doesn't count either. Why, aren't these all your secrets? Pineapple Xiao Wei was a bit angry, and as she spoke, she punched Shang Wan Xian's chest with her small fists. Shang Wan Xian raised his hand and slightly blocked it, answering, Let's not talk about human appearance for now. You need to say some information that only Pineapple Xiao Wei knows. Otherwise, how can I determine who you really are? Hmm okay. Pineapple Xiao Wei furrowed her eyebrows and pouted slightly, starting to reconsider the information that Shang Wan Xian had said. After thinking for more than ten seconds, she really found one that matched. 
Previously, you and Guo Bout attacked them and invited me out of the ancient tomb. I asked why you wanted to kiss the seven-colored lotus, and you answered me. Actually, you are a heavy girl controlled Jiaji. Woo woo. Before Pineapple Xiao Wei could finish speaking, Shang Wangshuan's eyes widened instantly, and the scene at that time immediately came to mind. Startled, Shang Wan Xian stepped forward and covered Pineapple Xiao Wei's mouth, afraid that her voice would be too loud to reach the next door. Next door to Shang Wangshuan is Aunt Wang from the property management of the community. She claims to be the sixth military intelligence department of the community, and most of the melons in the community were exploded from her. If she finds out about this white lie, Shang Wangshuan can probably consider living in a different community. Okay, okay, stop talking, I believe you now. Upon seeing Pineapple Xiao Wei nod, Shang Wangshuan finally let go and collapsed weakly on the bed. Pineapple Xiao Wei became famous and then lay on Shang Wangshuan's stomach with a blush on her side, looking at him with cold spring eyes. It's okay, Xiao Xian. Everyone has some undisclosed secrets, which is not embarrassing. I think it's probably because you grew up in a bad environment that you developed this habit. But it's okay, I'll try my best to help you correct it. Upon hearing this, Shang Wan Xian was covered in sweat and an embarrassed smile appeared on his face. Uh, she. Thank you, Xiao Wei. Cluck, it's okay. Helping boyfriends quit bad habits is what girlfriends should do. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Xiao Wei happily lay on Shang Wan Xian's body, but Shang Wan Xian's face was full of lovelessness. In fact, Shang Wangshuan is a very upright and excellent young man, without any bad habits or strange XP. The content that Pineapple Xiao Wei said was just a random remark he made at the time to dispel Pineapple Xiao Wei's doubts. However, he didn't expect that Pineapple Xiao Wei firmly believed in it and tried to bring him back on track. Regarding this, Shang Wan Xian only wants to say, If I could start over, I would definitely choose Li Bai. Oh no, it's not. I will definitely change the reason. Chapter 3 Shang Wan Xian's Father You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. One month later. In a 30 story office building in the center of Fujian City. Tian Qinhao, the chairman of Tian Lang Technology Company, Limited, was looking at the documents in his hand with a worried expression. After all these years, is Shang Wangshuan still unwilling to accept my funding? From the results, yes. In the past two months, the amount of money in the bank card has not decreased at all, and there is no record of online or offline bank login accounts. Standing at Tian Qinhao's desk, an old man with a tough appearance and dressed in a suit said calmly. Hey, when exactly is this kid going to vomit at me? Tian Qin Hao put down the documents with a headache and leaned against the boss's chair, pinching his Jingming acupoint. By the way, have you found out who the woman next to Shang Wangshuan is? Upon hearing this, the old man closed his eyes and slowly shook his head, which surprised Tian Qin Hao. No, Lao Fan. Is there any information on this planet that our serious technology cannot find? The old man opened his eyes, revealing a hint of solemnity and solemnity. I am also puzzled by this point. This woman seems to have emerged out of thin air, and there is no news of her in any country's database around the world. Even if it's suspected to be her consumption information, there's no tracking record. Seeing this, Tian Qin Hao also became solemn. He sat up straight and his face suddenly became cold. Are you saying that woman is not a person from the first parallel universe? The old man nodded. It's very likely. Oh. Upon receiving a positive answer, Tian Qin Hao's body burst out with a terrifying murderous aura, which even materialized, blowing some documents around him into the room. Seeing Qin Hao's true anger, the old man continued. However, Based on current observations, this woman has no intention of plotting any harm against Shang Wan Xian. Moreover, Shang Wangshuan seems to know the other party's true situation and has been deliberately helping them conceal their identity. 
except for their unknown identities, their behavior during this period is completely in line with normal young men and women who are in a romantic relationship. Upon hearing this, Tian Qin Hao's anger immediately dissipated significantly, and most of the gaps in his heart were filled with doubts. What situation? Chairman, do you think? Is it possible that that woman is the new super beast warrior? The old man asked tentatively, but Tian Qin Hao shook his head and answered positively. Impossible. I just confirmed with Xian Yitzi a few days ago that there is no difference in the number of super beast warriors in this 100,000 year cycle compared to 100,000 years ago. This. The old man was speechless, and Tian Qin Hao sighed and leaned back in his chair, saying. Forget it, send someone to continue monitoring her. Since that woman has no ill intentions towards Shang Wan Xian, we don't need to rush to take action. In less than half a year, a new cycle is about to begin. The days of peace are running out, and I just want Shang Wangshuan to spend this time happily. The old man closed his eyes again and regained a rebellious appearance. Yes, I will continue to find ways to provide material assistance to young master Shang Wangshuan through other means. Well, go ahead. Oh by the way, let Xian Yitzi come to my place tomorrow. Yes. At the end of the conversation, the old man left the office and met a young man who looked young, had straight features, was sunny and handsome, dressed in a suit and leather shoes, and had an appearance similar to Tian Qin Hao by nine points. Master, the chairman is feeling unwell and is currently resting. Please come back in an hour. Tian Yufen, is my dad still trying to find ways to send money to that wild seed? The young man's name is Tian Wen Han. He is the son of Tian Qin Hao and also the department manager of the company's publicity department. He showed no respect for the old man and questioned him by name. The old man's face instantly darkened upon hearing this. He is indeed very angry, but it is not that he is angry with Tian Wenhan's bad attitude. Master Tian Wenhan, please pay attention to your words. The chairman has his own intentions in his actions, please do not make meaningless associations and speculations. Seeing that the old man did not deny his speculation, Tian Tian Handan became angry. As expected, you want this wild seed to come back and take away my heir's position. I am the legitimate son of Tian Qinhao. Why should a wild seed without a proper reputation compete with me? Although Tian Qinhao's office is far from the public office area, Tian Wenhan's roar still faintly spread to that side. Seeing that the situation was about to escalate, the old man gave Tian Wenhan a big pussy without any mercy and knocked him to the ground. A burning pain came from his swollen cheeks, and Tian Wenhan instantly regained consciousness. It was only then that he realized that the old man was staring at him with a murderous gaze, and his whole body trembled with fear, sweating profusely. Tian Wenhan, listen carefully. Starting from today, you are not allowed to participate in or investigate this matter in any way. Otherwise, I will take over your father's legal actions on your behalf. Tian Tian Han shook his head and nodded, then got up and ran away from the office door as if. The old man sighed at this and spoke coldly. Chairman, can I wait until I finish handling the matter at Shangguan Pavilion before accepting punishment? The screen is slightly offset, and the office door has already been opened. Tian Qin Hao, dressed in a suit, is standing at the door, looking at the old man's back with an ugly expression. No need, you didn't do anything wrong. It's because I don't understand education very well, and both children have a deep hatred towards me. Don't say so. Wen Han is spoiled by his mother. It is easy to cultivate conceited flowers in the excellent environment. As for Shang Wan Xian, his situation is quite complicated, and you have no choice but to choose so. All right, don't argue for me anymore. No matter what the reason is, failure is failure. I will handle Wen Han's situation, just help me take care of Shang Wan Xian. On Shang Wan Xian's side, he had just returned home from school and was sitting on the sofa, looking at the unread text messages on his phone. 
One of them is a message sent by the University Committee regarding university scholarships. Sheng Wangshuan, a student from Class XX of the XX Department, was successfully selected as a top student of the XX academic year due to your outstanding performance in the XX academic year. You were awarded a special scholarship of 100,000 yuan, which has been transferred. Hey! Upon seeing the number of scholarships, Sheng Guangxuan couldn't bear to read it anymore and threw down his phone before lying on the bed. Carrying a plate of vegetables, Pineapple Xiao Wei, who came out of the kitchen, happened to see this scene and asked with concern. What's wrong, Xiao Xian? Did you encounter anything unhappy at school? Pineapple Xiao Wei took off her apron and came to Sheng Guangxuan's side. She placed his head on her thigh and gently stroked his hair. Yeah, I've encountered something very annoying. Oh. What's going on? I have received a special scholarship with a prize of 100,000 yuan. Upon hearing this, Pineapple Xiao Wei blinked her apricot eyes in confusion. Isn't this a good thing? Chapter 4 Unwilling to recall the past. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Pineapple Xiao Wei has been traveling to the human world for a month now, and since Sheng Guangxuan confirmed her true identity, the two have been living together. During this period, Sheng Guangxuan taught Pineapple Xiao Wei the moral laws and operational rules of the human world hand in hand. Just constrained by the economic situation, Sheng Guangxuan cannot take Pineapple Xiao Wei to experience more joy in the human world. But Pineapple Xiao Wei doesn't care about it at all. She is a virtuous wife who deeply loves her husband. As long as Sheng Guan Xian can stay by her side, she is already satisfied. During this period, during the day, Sheng Guangxuan went to the university to attend regular classes and worked part time to earn some extra income. Pineapple Xiao Wei is at home, learning how to become an excellent housewife and learning all the knowledge of the human world. At night, the two of them turned into conjoined babies, getting tired of everything they did together. Even when it comes to buying groceries, cooking, eating, driving on the road, washing incense, rolling sheets, and sleeping, my hands never let go. The unforgettable experiences in the fruit world, such as wanting to send blades to the author, have completely opened up Shang Guangxuan and Pineapple Xiao Wei's hearts to each other, becoming an indispensable part of each other's lives. So, if Shang Guan Xian has any secrets, she is willing to tell Pineapple Xiao Wei, and Pineapple Xiao Wei is also willing to listen and accept everything from Shang Guan Xian. Shouldn't you be happy to receive a scholarship with so much bonus? Xiao Xian, why are you still feeling down? Pineapple Xiao Wei asked curiously. Sheng Wan Xian flipped over and looked towards Pineapple Xiao Wei's chin, looking at the partially blocked ceiling. He casually talked about a past he didn't want to recall. Since childhood, Sheng Guangxuan has never had parents. His father abandoned the mother and son of Sheng Guangxuan when he was very young. His mother, being a stranger and lacking in education, can only do the dirtiest and most tiring job to support her family. A few years later, he died of overwork, and Sheng Guan Xian also lived in an orphanage. After struggling to reach adulthood, Sheng Guangxuan achieved both career and academic success through his own efforts, and even abducted his beautiful wife back from the fruit world. He had thought that life would gradually improve like this, but he never expected that one day, the father who abandoned his wife and children would reappear. He also became the chairman of a leading company in the national high.end technology research and development field. In order to make up for his mistakes in the past, he gave Sheng Guangxuan the money he could never spend in his lifetime, as well as the basic right to roam freely in the country. However, they were decisively rejected by Sheng Guangxian. I can never forgive this beast. No amount of money can make up for the harm my mother has suffered. No amount of money can exchange for her life. At this point, Shang Wangshuan's whole body was tense, with both hands tightly gripping the bed sheet, and he forcefully dug out five holes in the sheet. Pineapple Xiao Wei felt something unusual about Shang Wanxian and comforted his angry heart with gentler movements. 
With her unremitting efforts, Shang Wangshuan's restless heart calmed down and continued with the story that followed. I can guess to some extent why he did this. It's just that he wanted to take his career further, but ended up being hindered by the animal-like things he did back then and starting to make up for it. I will never let him succeed. If possible, I will personally destroy everything he has, even if I sacrifice my life for it. After speaking, Shang Wan Xian weakly put down his hands and turned his face to the side of Pineapple Xiao Wei's belly, greedily sniffing her body scent, hoping to find a hint of peace in it. Upon hearing this, Pineapple Xiao Wei also understood what was going on. So, that scholarship is actually your father begging for your forgiveness, right? Well, he found out which university I was studying at, so he spent money to become a board member and kept secretly creating so. called convenience for me. The more he is like this, the more disgusted I find him. I always think that money can solve everything, and that money can be treated as nothing has happened. I haven't moved a single scholarship over the years. Spending his money, I'm afraid it will ruin my life. After speaking, Shang Wan Xian got up and washed his face, then changed into a new piece of clothing. Sorry Xiao Wei, you've been listening to me complain for so long. Let's forget about the unhappy things. Let's go out and eat. Today, I'll take you to Hai Di Lao. Pineapple Xiao Wei smiled bitterly and gently held Shang Guangxuan's cheek, saying. Xiao Xian, as your wife, no matter what decision you make, I will choose to unconditionally support and trust you. But I also want to remind you that hatred does not disappear with a person's death. When it's time to let go, I hope you can let go. I can't bear to see you constantly tormented by hatred. Watching Pineapple Xiao Wei's sparkling eyes, Shang Guangxuan was stunned for two seconds, then nodded with moist eyes. Thank you, Xiao Wei. The next day. In the office of Tian Qinhao, Tian Lang Technology Group. Tian Qinhao Zheng was drinking tea and chatting with an elderly man dressed in dark retro tang attire, with a hunched figure, white beard and hair, and holding a cane. And in front of the coffee table, there sat a woman with outstanding figure, pink hair and green eyes, who was 29 years old and fragrant. Tian Qinhao, you usually manage a lot of things every day. If I want to see you, I can only watch it on TV. Why did you invite me to have tea today? The old man in Tang attire picked up his tea and took a sip, chatting and laughing. Tian Qinhao was also in a good mood and replied with a smile. Zuanizi, don't tease me anymore. I don't have any daily skills, I'm just tinkering with some old skills to enrich my living conditions. That's right, this Tang-dressed old man is the old turtle who disguises himself with his ability, Xian Yitzi. Hee <laughs> hee, you seem a bit too rich, right? Hey, isn't it because I gave birth to three cubs? With worries, I can't help but pursue material wealth. Tian Qin Hao self-deprecatingly said, and after drinking the tea handed over by the woman, his face returned to seriousness. All right, let's get down to business. Xian Yitzi nodded and then looked up at the woman next to him. Tian Yu, you go out first. Yes. Master, Dad, I'm leaving first. The woman nodded and bowed to the two before leaving the office. It is the female protagonist, Tian Yu, in the anime, Super Beast Armed. The door was closed, and Xian Yitzi released a power barrier to block the spread of sound. Only then did Tian Qinhao reveal the true content of this conversation. Chapter 5 Closed Door Discussions You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Tian Qinhao poured a cup of tea for Xian Yitzi and spoke solemnly. You should be very clear about what the next three months will be. Talking about this topic, Xian Yitzi's face also turned pale, indifferent as he looked at the hot tea in front of him. After a long time, he closed his eyes and said. Tian Qinhao, I have told you many times that the underworld king is sealed and the snow emperor is trapped in a black hole. The current universe is in the most stable state, and it is impossible for me to hand over the key to the mysterious world and break this rare peace. I am not helping you werewolves, but the weak. 
Now that you are no longer the weak side, I will naturally not continue to help you. Tian Qin Hao stopped his movements and his gaze showed a hint of ferocity, like a hungry wolf staring at his prey. I didn't call you here today for this matter. Oh. What is that for? Xian Yitzi opened his eyes in confusion, and Tian Qin Hao continued his movements while pouring tea, saying. I came to you today for my eldest son. Xian Yitzi frowned and pondered, a face he had only seen once appearing in his mind. Are you saying, Shangguan Xian? That's right. Tian Qin Hao drank all the tea in his cup and then said. Shangguan Xian has the purest wolf race bloodline, but due to premature birth, he is weak and sickly, unable to fully utilize his original abilities. Combined with the pursuit of the White Tiger tribe 100,000 years ago, I had no choice but to freeze him until it was thawed 18 years ago. He hasn't been by my side for the past 18 years, living alone has been quite difficult. Now that he has grown up and finally achieved his own happiness, he has encountered a reincarnation that occurs once every 100,000 years. This time, the troops of the underworld will definitely send a large army here to seize the key of the mysterious underworld. I will inevitably be recalled to the underworld. As soon as I leave, Shangguan Xian will inevitably be pursued by those descendants of the White Tiger tribe. I don't want my child to continue living a life of hardship. So, I earnestly request you to activate Shangguan Xian's ability and make him a powerful super beast warrior. As he spoke, Tian Qin Hao took out a wolf clan power lock from the inner pocket of his suit and handed it to Xian Yitzi. This is something that the royal family of the wolf clan can only use, the serious power lock. It was given to my wife by the underworld king when he left the underworld. Please help me transfer it to Shangguan Xian. Xian Yitzi carefully fumbled for the power lock in his hand, his eyes filled with shock and solemnity. In the wolf race of the fifth parallel universe, there are two types of power locks. One type is the black wolf power lock used by ordinary warriors. Another type is the serious power lock, which can only be used by the royal family. After the disaster 200,000 years ago, the serious power lock almost disappeared, leaving only the one in the hands of the underworld king. And the power lock in front of me is actually a genuine serious power lock. From this, it can be seen that Tian Qin Hao sincerely hoped that Xian Yitzi could help him, rather than setting up a trap to seize the key of Xian Ming. After much contemplation, Xian Yitzi shook his head. You don't understand the mission of the super beast warrior. Shangguan Xian was born with a heavy responsibility and cannot become a true super beast warrior. Upon hearing this, Tian Qin Hao's eyes were filled with disappointment, but Xian Yitzi's next words filled his heart with hope. However, if it's just training Shangguan Xian's strength to make him worthy of this prestigious power lock, I can still help with this favor. However, the path he will take in the future depends on his own choice. On Tian Qin Hao's fierce and paralyzed face, a rare smile appeared. Thank you, Xian Yitzi. As an exchange, when the army of the underworld arrives, although I will return to the wolf tribe, I will retreat behind the scenes and not participate in any actions related to you. Well, thank you very much. The two of them picked up their teacups and took a sip, which was considered a formal cooperation. Oh by the way, I have one more request. What requirements? Please, don't tell Shang Wangshuan anything about his background or my whereabouts. Why? Upon hearing this, Tian Qin Hao looked at his faint reflection on the window glass with a bitter smile and answered bitterly. He hates me to the bone now. If he knows the truth about everything, I'm worried that his spirit will collapse and he will do something foolish. Just treat him like you treat Tian Yu. When the time is right, he will naturally know all of this. Okay, I promise you. While the two were talking behind closed doors, Tian Yu, who had left the company, was intercepted by Tian Wen Han. The two went to a CAFA together to chat. Sister, Dad wants to find an illegitimate son named Shang Wangshuan to share our property with us. Do you know about this? 
Jan Yu's pretty eyebrows furrowed slightly and he replied. I know. Why are you still so calm? Aren't you angry with Dad for doing this? The Sirius Technology Group is a result of our family's hard work and hard work. Why does an outsider want to get something for nothing? Dad is really biased, and it's too unfair for us, don't you think so, sister? Listening to Tian Wenhan's rational and well-founded analysis, Tian Yu's stirring of coffee stopped and Feng's sharp eyes looked at the other person. Wen Han, I can assure you that the position of the next chairman of Sirius Technology Group will definitely be yours. So, listen to my sister, don't interfere in the matter of Shang Guangxuan. Jian Yu's answer surprised Tian Wen Han, and his hand, pouring milk, froze in place. 4. Why, sister? Because there are too many dangers behind this matter, I don't want you to get involved. As the adopted daughter of Tian Qin Hao, Tian Yu has spent over 100,000 years with him. She naturally knew the existence of Shangguan Xian and was also aware of his background and experience. His body is filled with the purest wolf bloodline, containing an immeasurable amount of supernatural energy. A strong person who is close to Shou and Tianqi, Shangguan Xian is only one power lock away. Jianyi naturally wouldn't be foolish enough to deliberately provoke such a great Buddha at a special time when he was about to start his 100,000-year cycle again. As for Tian Wenhan, he is just the result of the political alliance between Tian Qinhao and the human race women in the first parallel universe in the past decade or so, in order to develop his power. He is an ordinary human, and for Tianyu, he is also a child with childish thoughts. But anyway, Tian Wen Han is also Tian Yu's nominal younger brother. Letting Tian Yu watch helplessly as her younger brother and his half brother fight each other, she couldn't do it. Chapter 6 Reactivating the System You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. But, sister. Alright, stop talking. This matter is settled. Be obedient and don't cause trouble for your father. After speaking, Tianyu left the coffee shop and didn't notice the bulging veins on Tianwen Han's face. Why, why doesn't everyone support me? I've paid so much for the Tian family, why can't I compare to a wild seed who gets something for nothing? Tianwen Han looked fiercely at the sugar packets on the table, quickly tearing them apart frantically, scaring the guests around him five or six meters away. Shengguan Xian, I won't just give up like this. Do you want to argue with me about astronomy? You're not qualified enough. On the side of Shangguan Pavilion. Having been in the human world for over a month, Pineapple Xiaowei grew tired of staying at home, so she followed Shang Guangxuan to play in the university. Shang Guangxuan thought to himself that sooner or later, Pineapple Xiaowei would have to contact his social circle, so he agreed to let Pineapple Xiaowei follow. As Pineapple Xiaowei is not a student here, she will be immediately recognized once she enters any class. In order not to cause unnecessary trouble, Shang Wangxuan did not take her to his class for a stroll, but instead chose to take Xiao Wei to a public lecture to grab classes. The public lecture is held in the large classroom, with only the classes designated by the school to attend, and some students with low credits and serious failing grades coming here to mix up their grades. Pineapple Xiao Wei sat in the last row by the window, while Shang Guangxuan sat next to Xiao Wei to block the others. Listening to the teacher's elusive voice, Shang Guangxuan habitually took out his phone and opened the shovel. All the other classmates around were like this, only Pineapple Xiao Wei was listening attentively to the class. Hey, it's Lao Ba again. I really can't last any longer this garbage season. Xia Pangdin, why are you taking such a boring class? You still insist on taking me on. Suddenly hearing the sound of thief's eyebrows and mouse eyes made Pineapple Xiao Wei and Shang Guan Xian's eyes brighten. The two of them instantly noticed two students sitting at their front table, one thin and one fat, with red and orange hair. Hiss, this is. Shang Guan Xian squinted his eyes and slowly sat up straight in disbelief. Huo Lin Fei, you're really a dog biting LV Dongbin. You don't know how to be kind. We both have to go to the rooftop for that subject. 
If you don't seize the opportunity to accumulate credits, you really don't want to graduate, do you? How many credits can I earn in the last class? It's better to take the Hangzhou Learning Pass course quickly, it's a waste of time. My time is precious. Pull it down, you only play games all day and just go out surfing. How can you do anything serious? The more he listened, Sheng Xian's eyes widened. Reason kept him denying everything in front of him until a familiar voice sounded in his mind. Drop, detected the appearance of main characters in the world dungeon, system activation successful. Binding host. Drop, hosts Sheng Guangxuan and Pineapple Xiaowei, successfully bound. The beginner gift package has been distributed. Please check your inbox. What kind of thing? Sheng Xian was startled and slammed the table, his voice so loud that even the teachers on the podium were startled. A hundred or so people in the class looked at him in unison, including the two men at the previous table. Feeling the glaring gaze, Sheng Wangshuan's forehead was instantly covered in fine sweat. After being stunned for two seconds, he quickly reacted and continued. Teacher, I forgot my hearing aid in the dormitory. I didn't even hear what you said earlier. I'll go back and pick it up. After speaking, without waiting for the teacher to answer, Shang Wangshuan hurriedly pulled Pineapple Xiao Wei out of the classroom. Shang Wan Xian walked all the way to the long pavilion in the plantation, contemplating life as he walked. I see, I see. Everything in the world, including the people and interpersonal relationships around me, is exactly the same as the real situation. It led me to have a preconceived belief that I had returned to the true human world. But in reality, I still live in a different world, just crossing from the fruit world to another world. This can explain why Pineapple Xiao Wei became a human and traveled here with herself. Why did I encounter Hua Lin Fei and Miao Shijun, the main characters in the Super Beast armed anime? And, the broken system that followed me through three times, the phrase, World Dungeon. Dot. Upon arriving at the destination, Shang Wangshuan released his hand holding Pineapple Xiao Wei, but his restless mood could not be calmed, making him restless and restless. At this moment, Shang Wangshuan's mood was shattered, just like his mood when he first traveled to the world of fruits. A strong sense of fear and disbelief completely occupied his brain, leaving his rationality completely destroyed. Xiao Xian, what's wrong with you? Pineapple Xiao Wei's beautiful eyes showed a strong expression of concern. Seeing Shang Wan Xian almost stunned, Pineapple Xiao Wei immediately stepped forward to restrain Shang Wan Xian's hands from continuing to harm herself. Then he buried his head in his chest, using a mountain like heaviness to accommodate Shang Wan Xian's annoyance, and let him slowly calm down. Xiao Xian, take a deep breath. Relax, relax. This method really worked for Shang Wan Xian. After taking a few deep breaths, Shang Wan Xian's restless heart actually calmed down. It escaped from Pineapple Xiao Wei's arms and propped up its head to say thank you. Thank you, Xiao Wei. Xiao Xian, what's wrong with you? Why did you suddenly become so impatient? Shang Wan Xian organized some language in his mind, and then told Pineapple Xiao Wei everything that had just happened and his biggest secret. I'm sorry, Xiao Wei. Besides liking you from my heart, most of my behavior in the fruit world is the result of system intervention. Actually, I have always wanted to be a human in my heart, so I only asked you that question when I was healing in the ancient tomb sect. After listening to Pineapple Xiao Wei, her heart was filled with mixed flavors. But upon learning that Shang Wan Xian fell in love with him out of sincerity, he felt a hint of happiness in his heart. He gently placed Shang Wangshuan's hand on his lap and said with a smile on his face. It's okay Xiao Xian, I don't care about these things. As long as you really like me, I'm satisfied. Shang Wan Xian gave a bitter smile and touched the soft face of Pineapple Xiao Wei, saying. Sometimes I envy you, Xiao Wei, for being able to accept everything unfamiliar with ease. Unlike me, who always harbors feelings for herself, is it true or not? Pineapple Xiao Wei, 
whose face was touched, squinted with a blush and obediently leaned against Shang Wangshuan's chest, answering. Actually, you don't need to dwell on these things, Xiao Xian. As you said, everything in this world is exactly the same as the real human world. You, who are helpless in this world, are likely to be the same in reality. So, what's the difference between this world and the real world? At least, in this world, you still have me. Chapter 7 Two Power Locks You are listening at NovelFull.audio If there's anything sad, you can tell me. If you feel tired, you can also play coquettish with me. Pineapple Xiao Wei obediently sat in front of Shang Wangshuan and opened her arms to him. Shang Wan Xian looked at the easily accessible gentle countryside and remembered every gentle night during this period. His blush, he kept swallowing saliva, and without hesitation, he threw himself into the fragrant and soft embrace. As soon as Shang Wan Xian picked it up, a burst of amazement came from the side. Ah! The two were startled and immediately separated, looking in the direction where the sound came from. Not far away in the flower field, a girl wearing thick glasses, a farming uniform, and a straw hat was watering the flowers. She looked at Shang Wan Xian and the others with a blush on her face. She was a student from an agricultural college. She was originally quietly watering flowers in the experimental field, but the two of them, Shang Wangxuan, broke in and offered her a bowl of dog food for free. Cough. Shang Wan Xian and Pineapple Xiao Wei didn't notice that there was still someone here, so they smiled awkwardly at each other and quickly fled the scene. After arriving at the botanical garden on the rooftop of the teaching building and confirming that there were no people around, Shang Wangxuan and Pineapple Xiao Wei finally felt relieved and could continue to do the unspeakable things. Ha, huh, Xiao Wei, are you ready? Shang Wan Xian and Pineapple Xiao Wei sat closely together, although it was not the first time, both sides were still nervous and constantly rubbing their clothes. Well, I'm ready for Xiao Xian, come on. Okay, then I'll go in. Ah. So direct, don't do some foreplay, prepare for it. I can't resist doing it anymore. Well. Okay. As he spoke, Shang Wan Xian slowly raised his hand and extended towards the hidden corner. System, open the beginner gift pack. Shang Wangxuan's fingers were in the air, and in his and Pineapple Xiao Wei's eyes, the gift package in the system space was opened, and two beautifully designed power locks appeared in front of him. When Shang Wangxuan and Pineapple Xiao Wei talked about the system, they had already discovered that the host bound to the system this time was two people, and Pineapple Xiao Wei was also among them. And after further exploration, the two found that the system information is shared. Both parties can simultaneously operate the system backpack and also see each other's information in real dot time. Even, quantum entangled dialogue can be achieved through unexpected ways of getting stuck with bugs. So, both of them can see the process of opening the gift package at the same time, and they can also clearly see the appearance of the two power locks. After the power lock appeared, it automatically flew to the hands of its respective masters. Sheng Wan Xian and Pineapple Xiao Wei both had a power lock on their wrists, and they both looked down curiously. Drop, White Zay Power Lock A top-dot-level power lock that can summon White Zay weapons, White Zay Flash, White Zay Super Beast, True Beast, and Taishu White Zay. Supporting Ultimate Move Storm Strike is by Zay the legendary auspicious beast with dragon horns, tiger heads, crane wings, horse tails, and a chilin body. Shang Wan Xian carefully examined the power lock in his hand and found that there was indeed a pattern of a white tiger head with dragon horns on the lock cover. Xiao Xian, my power lock seems to be a fox. What is yours? Pineapple Xiao Wei curiously approached, and Shang Wan Xian took the opportunity to scrutinize Pineapple Xiao Wei's ability lock. I'm super. Don't look, don't know, I'm scared at first glance. Pineapple Xiao Wei's power lock is actually the famous demon, the Nine-Tailed Fox. Drop, Nine-Tailed Power Lock. A special level power lock that can summon Nine-Tailed Armor, 
Nine-Tailed Flash, Nine-Tailed Super Beast, True Beast, and Demon Emperor Nine-Tailed. Supporting Ultimate Move. Fox Chase, wow, Xiao Wei, your abilities are so locked up. It's actually a nine-tailed fox. Although in mythological legends throughout history, Baize is much higher in both ability and rank than the nine-tailed fox. But after experiencing the packaging of modern popular culture, the nine-tailed fox is far more popular than Baize, so Shang Wan Xian was so excited when he saw the nine-tailed fox's power lock. Nine-tailed fox. What is that? Is it a species of fox? Pineapple Xiaowei furrowed her pretty willow eyebrows and asked in confusion. Sheng Wan Xian saw that Pineapple Xiaowei didn't understand at all, so he gave her a brief introduction. The nine-tailed fox is one of the rare and exotic beasts in Chinese mythology and legends. In the original legend, the nine-tailed fox had the ability to bring good luck to those it saw, often appearing around those who possessed the qualities of a king, and was therefore revered as an auspicious beast by people. But during the Han and Tang dynasties, the culture of monsters prevailed, and the nine-tailed fox was infused with elements such as cannibalism, charm, and deceit, with the word demon directly added to its name. The nine-tailed fox, completely demonized, fell from grace and often appeared as a villain in various literary works, giving rise to a term called fox spirit. Oh, I see. The word fox spirit comes from a nine-tailed fox. Pineapple Xiaowei nodded with a sudden realization, but then realized something was wrong. No, isn't that equivalent to saying, I'm a fox spirit. Xiao Xian, how could I possibly be a fox spirit? I'm completely devoted to you, so I got this power lock wrong. Shangguan Xian was taken aback. Got it wrong. I'm the fox spirit. Putting aside roast thoughts, Shangguan Xianchong pinched Pineapple Xiaowei's little face and said softly. How could my wife be a fox spirit? My wife is the cutest. The system's offer of a nine-tailed power lock actually means that the system recognizes your charm. You are like the legendary nine-tailed fox, with a national beauty and heavenly fragrance. Every frown and smile is enough to captivate all beings. You are a grinding little fairy, Shang Wan Xian's face was very close, and he hooked up Pineapple Xiao Wei's chin with one hand, staring directly at those seductive eyes. Pineapple Xiao Wei felt extremely shy when teased by Shang Wan Xian. She bit her lips softly and slowly closed her eyes. Shang Wan Xian was also mesmerized by Xiao Wei's allure and couldn't help but bite her fragrant lips. The two entangled for four or five minutes until they couldn't catch their breath before separating. Fortunately, this is outdoors, and the bell for class has already sounded, so Shang Wangxuan and Pineapple Xiao Wei did not continue to delve deeper. Otherwise, with this momentum, the two will inevitably sublimate on the spot. After playing all afternoon, Pineapple Xiao Wei and Shang Wangxuan returned home satisfied. With the guidance of Pineapple Xiao Wei, Shang Wan Xian has already wanted to open up a lot. Take it as it comes. Let's go to the world of super beast armament. As long as Xiao Wei is still by her side, wherever she goes, she will be home. At night, Shang Wan Xian hugged the beautiful Xiao Wei and slept sweetly in a 50 square meter small rental house. Pineapple Xiao Wei has fallen asleep, but Shang Wan Xian is still awake. He stared blankly at the ceiling, mentally prepared to survive for a long time in the world armed with super beasts. When it comes to super beast weapons, the most important thing is the 7. Day 100,000 year cycle. For Shang Wan Xian, this is both the biggest opportunity and the biggest crisis. Since I have traveled here and have a system, it is impossible for me to escape the plot of the super beast warrior. Powerful beings from other universes, as well as the super beast warriors from the protagonist group, each possess strength measured in black holes. To survive in this level of war, strong strength is necessary. On Earth in the first parallel universe, there is only one person who can help oneself quickly improve their strength. That's the overall commander of the super beast squad, Xian Yitzi. Chapter 8 Power Explosion 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. On this weekend, when there were no classes in college, Shang Wangshuan and Pineapple Xiao Wei held hands and strolled on the street shopping. Pineapple Xiao Wei was carefully selecting fruits, vegetables, and fruits, while Shang Wangshuan looked at the tomatoes beside her, lost in thought. If this world is really a super beast armed world, then Xian Yitzi must be living in seclusion in the old city area. But the problem is, there is no old urban area in Minchang where I live. Is Zuanizi hiding in other cities? This is not right either. Huo Linfei and Miao Shuijuan are from the same school as me. The story must have happened in Minchang. This wonderful paradoxical relationship left Sheng Wan Xian at a loss. While he was struggling to find Xian Yitzi, two groups of people simultaneously discovered Sheng Wan Xian and Pineapple Xiao Wei. Oh, those two people look so familiar. It's the beautiful woman sitting behind me yesterday. Not far away, Huo Lin Fei in slender handsome, dressed in casual clothes, discovered Sheng Wan Xian and the other two. Huo Lin Fei recognized Pineapple Xiao Wei at a glance and was eager to approach her, but was grabbed by Miao Tiao Juan. Wait for Huo Lin Fei, what are you doing over there? Didn't you see her boyfriend there? What do you mean, chubby guy? Do I look like a thug who flirts with women from good families? Huo Lin Fei flicked his bangs and said, thinking he was handsome. I just want to go and make friends with them, after all, having met them twice in a row shows that we still have fate between us. Upon hearing this, the slender and handsome face became very ugly, pointing at Huo Lin Fei's nose and angrily saying. Huo Lin Fei, let me say it one last time. My name is Miao Jiao Juan. If you insist on adding the word Dai before it, please also call me Dai Miao Tiao Juan. Okay chubby guy, no problem chubby guy. I wish your mother well. Just as the two were wrestling together, a speeding motorcycle whizzed past them and headed straight towards Shang Guangxuan. Hey! What's the situation? The huge noise caused Huo Lin Fei and the others to stop and curiously turn their heads to watch the play. The roar of the motorcycle successfully caught Shang Guangxuan's attention, and he was startled and instinctively stepped back. This retreat exposed Pineapple Xiao Wei, who was originally blocked behind her. The motorcycle driver, wearing a thick helmet, seized the opportunity and snatched the bag from Pineapple Xiao Wei's hand as he passed by. Ah! Pineapple Xiao Wei was forcefully pulled, her bag strap was torn off, and her hand, carved with powder and jade, was also left with a blood stain. Xiao Wei, are you okay? Shang Wan Xian immediately stabilized Pineapple Xiao Wei and examined his injuries. Although it was just a minor external injury, the rising anger in Shang Wan Xian's heart was still uncontrollable. He looked up at the motorcycle that had already walked away, and his vision seemed to have been strengthened by a mysterious force dozens of times. From a distance of nearly a hundred meters, Shang Wangshuan could see clearly the appearance of the motorcycle and the clothing of the driver. Xiao Wei, wait for me here, I'll go get your bag back. After settling down pineapple Xiao Wei, Shang Wangshuan took off his coat, revealing the short sleeves inside, and then ran towards the direction of the motorcycle. Whoosh! Shang Wan Xian ran very fast, just as he started, he surpassed Bolt in speed, and the passers-by around him were all stunned. But Shang Wan Xian was not at all aware of these, and as he ran, his speed became faster. When it was about to catch up with the locomotive, it had even reached the speed of an 80-yard car, completely surpassing the realm of humanity. After running a long distance, the locomotive driver arrived at a sparsely populated new urban area, and the speed slowly slowed down. He unconsciously glanced at the convex lens at the intersection and was instantly stunned. I'm super, so fast. Before he could turn his head, Shang Wan Xian, who was glaring with anger, had already kicked him in the back. Puff. The motorcycle driver spewed out a mouthful of blood and flew forward like a shell, crashing into a thick electric pole surrounded by a person on the roadside. In this scene, the men in suits hiding nearby were stunned and dared not move at all. In fact, this is a trap. 
The motorcycle driver intentionally snatched Pineapple Xiao Wei's bag with the aim of guiding Shang Guangxuan and others to this place. But the plan was slightly different from what they had originally anticipated. They didn't expect Shang Guangxuan to come running over at such a fast speed and even kick the motorcycle driver to the point of being disabled. You can tell from this that he is a tough character to deal with. These men in suits may appear fierce and carry weapons, but ultimately they are just ordinary workers. Let them bully the little with more, they dare. If they were to take their lives to bully the little with more, it would require careful consideration. Shang Wan Xian picked up the bag on the ground, carefully dusted it off, and opened it to take a look. The cosmetics and headphone case inside are all broken, and the straps have also broken. The entire bag is completely useless. This once again ignited the raging anger of Shang Wan Xian, and this bag was his first gift to Pineapple Xiao Wei, with very high commemorative significance. He strode up to the motorcycle driver and violently shook off his helmet, revealing his weathered and pale face. Speak up. Who sent you here? Shang Wan Xian grabbed the other person's hair and lifted them up, roaring angrily. Although Shang Wan Xian was angry, he did not see Shi Liji. He could clearly see that the motorcycle driver was not grabbing the bag for money at all. Because during its escape, it did not shy away from crowds. If it were an ordinary thief, doing so would be like falling into a trap. So, it is obvious that he is not afraid of being caught in this way, so the purpose is naturally not to go for money, but to go for people. The fact was indeed as expected by Shang Guangxuan, but the motorcycle driver's face was now filled with fear, and blood was constantly flowing from the corners of his mouth. He was kicked by Shang Wan Xian, and his ribs were almost completely broken. The intense pain made him unable to speak. Also, due to fear, adrenaline runs wild, making it impossible to fall into a coma. Seeing the other party unable to say anything, Shang Wan Xian's anger became even more intense, with an inexplicable energy wandering through his body, constantly pounding Shang Wan Xian's forehead. For a moment, Shang Wan Xian had the idea of killing the person in front of him, which startled Shang Wan Xian's heart. In the end, Shang Wan Xian did not take another action, but threw it to the ground like a dead dog, breathing deeply in place. Didi. Xiao Xian. Pineapple Xiao Wei's voice suddenly came, and Shang Wan Xian looked back in confusion and saw Hua Lin Fei and Slender Jun riding an electric scooter, carrying Pineapple Xiao Wei and rushing over. Xiao Wei, why did you come over? Chapter 9 Group Assault You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Xiao Xian The car stopped steadily, and Pineapple Xiao Wei couldn't wait to run towards Shang Guangxuan's arms. The two of them, who were only separated for a while, seemed to have been separated for centuries and were eager to embrace each other. Wow! Brother, you're running too fast, right? At this speed, Bolt is just an elementary school student in front of you. Huolin Fei and Slender Jun also approached and spoke with disbelief on their faces. Shang Wan Xian glanced at the two of them and separated from Xiao Wei, then said. You're not here at the right time. Xiao Wei, please follow them and leave here. Ah. Why? Yeah, we just arrived, why are you driving us away? Huo Lin Fei and the three of them looked puzzled. Before Shang Wan Xian could explain, a large group of men in suits suddenly burst out from the nearby green bushes, holding steel pipes and baseball bats. Wow, what's going on? The underworld. Huolin Fei was afraid and hugged Slender Jun, while Shang Guangxuan stood in front of Pineapple Xiao Wei for the first time. When there was only Shang Wan Xian alone, these men in suits were still hesitating whether or not to wear it. When Pineapple Xiao Wei and the others arrived, the men in suits became more confident and fearless. Because even if they cannot defeat Shang Wan Xian, they can still seize his friends to threaten him, and the probability of fully retreating after finishing work is much higher. So, they dared to appear collectively and surrounded Shang Guangxuan and others with a fierce momentum. Don't move anything. 
Among the men in suits, a bald man wearing a floral collar shirt led the way, shouting to everyone in a ruffian manner. Today, the brothers are here to find this Shangwan pavilion. As long as the others don't take action, we won't do anything to you. Do you understand or haven't you? At this moment, Huo Lin Fei and Slender Handsome are just ordinary university losers. They have never seen such a scene before, and are trembling with fear. Mmm, I understand. I understand. Who are you and why are you looking for me? Shengguan Xian, who had seen the strong winds and waves, remained calm at the moment. He frowned and asked the bald leader, hoping to extract more information from his mouth. But I didn't expect the other party to be a chicken thief. After chatting with Shengguan Xian for a while, he didn't reveal any useful information. Who are we? We are the teachers here to teach you. Hey kid. It's not yours, don't take it. It's not yours, don't take it. This is the most basic principle of being a person. Unfortunately, you don't even understand this. So the brothers came over to give you a lesson to help you understand what it means to have self-awareness in life. Up. Baldi waved his hand, and the young men began to approach Shangguan Xian and others. Huo Lin Fei and Slender Jun closed their eyes in fear, while the men in suits around them selectively ignored them and walked around them. Ah! With a strange cry from a man in a suit, the battle was about to break out. The scene became quite chaotic at one point, with everyone shouting and bluffing wildly. Seemingly grand, but in reality, there are few who dare to step forward and attack Shengguan Xian with thunder, rain, and small drops. Those who dared to attack were all decisively laid to the ground by Shangguan Xian. The appearance of Pineapple Xiaowei awakened Shang Guangxuan's memories when he was in the fruit world. Among them are not only people and events, but also all the martial arts secrets that Shangguan Xian has memorized for over a decade. The emergence of the system brought about the physical fitness of Shang Guangxuan during its fruit period. Although there is a significant difference between humans and fruits, through systematic calculations, Shang Guangxuan's physical fitness at this moment is still four to five times stronger than that of ordinary people. The combination of the two has made Shang Guangxian stronger than 99% of ordinary humans on this planet. Faced with a group of suit thugs, Shang Guangxian can still handle it easily and with ease. Be careful, Xiao Xian. While Shang Guangxian was focused on a wide dot ranging attack in front of him, a young man behind him seized the opportunity and prepared to launch a surprise attack on the back of Shang Guangxian's head. However, he ignored Pineapple Xiao Wei who had been leaning against Shang Guangxian all along. The other party just lifted the iron rod when Pineapple Xiao Wei kicked her chin with a high leg, causing her to fly backwards. Upon hearing Xiao Wei's prompt, Shang Guangxuan slightly tilted his head and looked behind him, smiling at Xiao Wei before continuing to respond to the attack ahead without saying a word. Pineapple Xiao Wei didn't say anything more. After responding to Shang Guangxian with a smile, she also focused on defending Shang Guangxian's back. The cooperation between the two was seamless, and under the encirclement of dozens of people, they surprisingly achieved a defense without blind spots, making this group of big men unable to get close. As more and more people are being laid down, the encirclement of men in suits is also getting smaller and smaller. The two of Hualin Fei, who were submerged in the sea of people, had somehow moved in reverse outside the crowd. Hmm. What's the situation? Aren't we surrounded? Why are we outside the crowd now? Oh, why bother him so much? Hurry up and run for his life. As he spoke, Miao Shua Jun scattered his thoughts and prepared to leave, but Huo Lin Fei remained in place, leaving Miao Shua Jun puzzled. Huo Lin Fei, why are you still dawdling? Hurry up and get in the car and run. No way, little chubby guy. That couple is still inside. How can we leave them alone? Upon hearing this, he looked slender and handsome for a moment. Isn't that right, Huo Lin Fei? At this moment, your chivalrous spirit has emerged. Do you think this is writing a novel? 
Are we two sisters Wong returning? Wake up. This is reality, they are a ruthless underworld that kills without blinking an eye. Let's rush forward, at most we'll just send two more heads. It's better to go to the police quickly to save that couple. The slender and handsome words were well founded, and Hua Linfei's determination was shaken. Um. What you said makes sense. As he spoke, Hua Linfei sat down on a slim and handsome electric bike, leaving his own car for Shang Guangxuan and the others just in case, and then turned around and hurried away. Boss, those two guys have run away. Hualin Fei and the other two had just walked a short distance when the younger brother on the outer layer noticed the small movements of the two of them running away. Let's not care about them for now. Shang Wan Xian is almost done. Let's take care of him first before we talk. Oh, oh. Oh, you asterisk head, give it to me. The bald head, who was also on the edge of OB, spoke in panic and then pushed the little brother into the crowd. The surrounding streets are empty and there are no surveillance cameras installed. Bald thought that working here would not expose themselves. But he wouldn't have thought that behind an unfinished building that was over twenty floors high, Jianyu with pink hair and phoenix eyes was standing there, staring coldly below. Chapter 10 Entering the Bureau You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Actually, the guy who snatched the motorcycle bag was arranged by Tianyu. According to the original plan, after Pineapple Xiaowei's bag was snatched, Tianyu Shining appeared and subdued the opponent with three fists and two kicks. Subsequently, using this as a starting point, the two of them made friends with Shang Wan Xian and invited them to the residence where Xian Yitzi lived in seclusion. Afterwards, Xian Yitzi will have a showdown with Shang Wan Xian and naturally teach him how to use his abilities. Unexpectedly, the rider was instigated to rebel and instead forced Shang Wan Xian into such a situation. Who is the person who instigated the rider's rebellion? Tian Yu can guess for a moment that it must be his immature younger brother, Tian Wenhan. Originally, Tian Yu, who arrived here almost at the same time as Pineapple Xiao Wei, planned to trick and help Shang Guangxuan and the other two out of the siege. But the result exceeded her expectations again, Shang Wan Xian and Pineapple Xiao Wei were very good at fighting. When two people fought against forty or fifty people, Tian Yu couldn't find a chance to take action. Tisk, why is Shang Wan Xian so fierce? He's really not giving me any chance. It seems like he has come up with another way. On the side of Shang Wan Xian, he and Pineapple Xiao Wei had a perfect understanding, and the two of them suddenly fell down with more than twenty people. And the cost was only less than half of their physical strength. The bald men in suits are all dumbfounded. How could these two guys in front of me be so fierce? Are they still humans? The remaining little brothers also hesitated one by one, afraid to approach Shang Wan Xian and Pineapple Xiao Wei within five meters. Didi, Didi, Didi. Not far away, police cars rushed over one by one, causing the remaining men in suits to completely give up the attack and quickly turn around and run away. Brother. We're back. Following a small electric donkey behind the police car, Hua Lin Fei and Miao Shuijuan, who had just escaped, turned back. Thanks to their guidance to the police, they were able to reach the destination so quickly. Otherwise, none of those men in suits will escape the clutches of Shang Wan Xian. Seeing the police coming, Tian Yu knew he had no chance to appear and decided to leave here. Pineapple Xiao Wei and Shang Guangxuan were escorted by the police to the hospital for simple treatment, and then went to the local police station to take notes. Originally, this was a simple case of black and evil elements bullying ordinary people. Although Shang Guan Xian and Pineapple Xiao Wei can fight, from the perspective of the situation, they are complete victims. After completing the transcript, you can go home and have sex normally. Until the local police found out that Pineapple Xiao Wei's origin was unknown, and she didn't even have an ID card. Within the general administration of the Municipal Police Bureau. 
Shangguan Xian and Pineapple Xiaowei were respectively detained in one interrogation room, and four criminal police officers took turns interrogating the two. Officer, I have explained many times that Xiao Wei is a Chinese born in Australia. All her information is in Australia, it's normal that you can't find it. Shangguan Xian squinted his eyes, unable to see the faces of the police officers clearly under the interrogation light, and could only hear their pretended angry voices. Still unwilling to confess. Do you know that sheltering spies will be punished with treason? Oh my, I didn't cover up any spies. What I said is true. Xiao Wei is really a returnee, not a spy. Okay, let me ask you. When did Luo Xiao Wei return to her country, what mode of transportation did she take, and where did she handle her visa and passport applications? These are all her personal privacy, how would I know? Due to her lack of identity, Pineapple Xiao Wei has only a partial understanding of the history of this country. As a result, he was mistakenly identified by the police as a spy from another country and subjected to rigorous interrogation. Shangguan Xian did his best to provide cover for Pineapple Xiao Wei, and Pineapple Xiao Wei also obeyed Shangguan Xian's words, no matter what the other party asked, do not answer. Although Pineapple Xiao Wei has no identity, the police have no evidence to prove that she is a spy, and at most, Pineapple Xiao Wei will be dealt with as a black door. Based on the theory of no punishment for suspected crimes, it won't be long before they let Guan Xian and the others leave due to lack of evidence. It's just that Shang Guan Xian has been feeling very uncomfortable during the interrogation process. It's not that he feels uncomfortable being interrogated, but rather that he feels uncomfortable letting Xiao Wei suffer. She followed her for only a few days before being robbed, beaten, and now interrogated by police officers. Shang Guan Xian felt that it was his lack of ability as a boyfriend that caused Xiao Wei to suffer, so he kept blaming himself. In the evening, Tian Yufan, dressed in a casual suit, came to the police station and handed a stack of information documents to the director. Just a moment later, Shang Guangxuan and Pineapple Xiao Wei were released ahead of schedule. At first, Shang Guan Xian was very puzzled, but it wasn't until he left the police station and saw the familiar old face that Shang Guan Xian understood what was going on. Did you do it? Shang Guan Xian's face became quite gloomy, and his tone was even more unfriendly than Tian Wenhan's, while Pineapple Xiao Wei beside him was somewhat puzzled. Xiao Xian, who are you talking to? Tian Yu Fan's kind old face wore a smile and answered lightly. Master Shang Guangxuan, these are all the intentions of the chairman. You have not made any mistakes and should not be locked up just because of these small matters. Upon hearing this, Shang Guan Xian tightly clenched his fist, and it was indeed his own scumbag father who took action. Shang Guan Xian and Pineapple Xiao Wei were able to come out so quickly because Tian Qin Hao entrusted someone to forge Pineapple Xiao Wei's identity information based on Shang Guan Xian's confession. Tian Yu is also a capable subordinate of Tian Qin Hao, who has frequently appeared in recent years to implement various compensations given by Tian Qin Hao to Shang Guan Xian. His appearance basically proves that Shang Guangxuan's conjecture is a fact. Xiao Xian, who is this old man? Pineapple Xiao Wei held Shang Guangxuan's arm and asked with a puzzled expression in her beautiful eyes. Before Shang Guan Xian could answer, Tian Yu Fan spoke up first. Miss Luo, I'm sorry. Our first meeting was in this kind of place. My name is Tian Yufan and I am the father of young master Shang Guangxuan. Before Tian Yu Fan could finish speaking, Shang Guan Xian rudely snatched the conversation leader and said. Just a running dog, let's go, Xiao Wei. Pineapple Xiao Wei was taken aback for a moment. It was the first time he had seen Shang Guan Xian so disrespectful towards someone. But considering Shang Guan Xian's background, Pineapple Xiao Wei didn't know what to say, so she silently followed Shang Guan Xian. Tian Yu, upon hearing this, was not as fierce as when facing Tian Wen Han at that time. A hint of bitterness appeared on the kind old face, and he replied. Hey, Master Shang Guangxuan, the chairman just hopes that you can live a better life. There is no other purpose, 
you don't need to hold such great hostility. Upon hearing this, Sheng Wanxian stopped and sneered without looking back. If he dies, then I can truly live better. Young Master Sheng Wanxian. Go back and tell him, don't think I'll be grateful to him for doing this. I'll handle Xiao Wei's identity myself, there's no need for him to pretend. I don't need anything from him. I didn't need it before, and I won't need it again. 